Hi, um, I'm Tadjo. Um, I'm involved with CJA and have been since the beginning of the mobilization. And um, I guess, I hope, please stop me if I'm uh, duplicating things. And as you will soon notice, I'm also completely hyperactive, so stop me if I speak too fast. That can very easily happen. I'll sort of get up and start ranting, so just too fast, or if I'm, make me calm down. Okay, um, what I was going to be speaking about for a few minutes was, um, I, I'm going to try and put, in a way, what you had said into the kind of concrete context, the critique of green capitalism into the context of what's actually happening inside the COP. So I'm not sure how much you've kind of talked about that. Because there's sort of the idea that, you know, there's a political legitimation crisis of capitalism right now. Basically, people don't really like capitalism at this point. It's kind of gotten a bit of an image issue at this point. The same applies for institutions of national governance. You know, parties are becoming less and less popular. Membership rates are decreasing. Voting rates are decreasing across the board. So there is this kind of political crisis of legitimation. Um, so I might stand up because there's also this annoying hole right here. Um, there, is, there is a second crisis, an economic crisis, which is a, sort of partly a crisis of overaccumulation. You have all this capital sloshing around that can't really go anywhere productive. You can't really invest it productively because there isn't any very sort of sexy, exciting technological driver of growth. And at the same time, people have had very low wages for about 30 years as a result of the neoliberal offensive. That means lots of stuff produced, not enough people who have purchasing power. That means too much capital that can't be profitably invested. That leads to financialization and the crisis of overaccumulation. That was just like a 30-second political economy of a crisis of overaccumulation. But those are the two things that are happening right now. And at the same time, there is not just a climate crisis. There is a wider ecological crisis that you might call the bio-crisis. Right? You have a crisis of desertification, uh, crisis of water access, crisis of food, crisis of biodiversity. And all these various crises arise from the contradiction or the antagonism, the tension that exists between capital's need for infinite growth and the fact that we live on a finite <coughs> planet. So what I was going to say, kind of, I was going to try and take these various macro crisis phenomena and show how they're reflected inside the COP process. Because and we've now had, this is COP 15, right? So there have been 14 years of COPs. And when we started our mobilization, people were fairly critical of our more rejectionist position vis-a-vis -vis the COP. They said, look, you know, you can't attack the COP. It's, the, it's not the WTO, it's not the IMF. They're the nice guys, right? It's the UN. They wear the nice blue hats and, you know, they're the good guys. Now, I think in the last year we've seen that our critique from the more radical wing of the movement has really been borne out. Right? And it's not just been borne out by the fact that it's absolutely sure that there won't be a good deal in COP. Now, just maybe I stop for a moment. Does anybody in this movement, in this room, believe that there will be a good deal coming out of Copenhagen? 